Now, I'm really excited for this one because Manjaro is coming out with a couple new desktop environments. It's not their desktop environments, but they're getting support for it. It's going to be available as an ISO download on their website with the desktop environment preloaded. And that is the UK UI desktop environment that is for the, uh, I think it's Ubuntu Kylin or Kalen. It's right here, Ubuntu Kylin. And the um, Deepin 20.0 desktop environment from Deepin OS. Now, they used to have a uh, Deepin desktop environment support a little while ago. I remember seeing it there, but they, uh, they took it down. It didn't get enough uh, community support. But it looks like they're picking it back up again, and they're going to be releasing an official ISO that everybody can download soon. For the time being, there is a preview ISO that you can download. There are both... Both of the links are right here on their Twitter page. Now, I've already tried the Deepin one, and there are a couple issues with it that I'm going to point out, but those will most likely be fixed by the time it's officially released. And I haven't really checked out the UK UI one for the Manjaro release, but I will be. This is kind of going to be a first impressions on this one. So before I get into that, we have the Kylan website here if you're interested in the official... Um, the distribution of Linux that this desktop environment is built for is this one. One thing about both of these distributions is they're both Chinese based. I know Kylin is actually a project of the Chinese military, so do what you want with that information. And Debian, I'm not sure exactly sure who the developers are. Now it doesn't look like Deepin is um, as close to the Chinese government as Kylin is. But on my personal preference, the Kylin desktop environment is uh, absolutely beautiful. I do prefer it over Deepin, but that's all down to user preference. So let's go ahead and quit playing around and let's jump into one of these desktop environments. Let's start out with the UK UI, since this is going to be more of a first impression thing. Do, 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 do. Okay, so now we are in UK UI, and so far it's looking absolutely beautiful. Now I haven't installed it, I'm probably not going to need to, but let's just take a quick look through here. I had to open the system control panel to change the resolution so this would actually look decent for you guys. So let's kind of run through here and see the general layout and what everything looks like. Everything's pretty pretty good with it comes to the organization. We have systems, this is where I just was for the uh, display. You can change your default applications here. You have some power control settings. Here we have some background, so you can kind of skim through and see what they got going on here. Nice transition with the background change, and that's a beautiful background, by the way. Uh, theming, so not too many options, kind of on the same boat as Deepin. You can choose light or dark. So this is the default. We could go into the dark mode. And it changes real nice. Th this is a beautiful system. Um, you have your icon theme. Looks like there are only... Uh, three different icons that you could choose from, but there's probably ways to install more. I'm just not quite sure of that yet. Uh, cursor theme seems to be the only option at the moment. Uh, network settings, user account settings, uh, time date settings, uh, system update settings, and about. So if I go about, you could see I'm running Manjaro Linux, copyright 2009 to 2020, Kylan OS. Right here, it's not displaying the kernel, my CPU, or anything like that. So let's go into Manjaro settings. I think I read that it comes with the um, 5.8 kernel, but let's check that real quick. So it does have the Manjaro settings manager, which is very important. Uh, and it has everything that you would expect, hardware configuration. This is VirtualBox, so it's not going to be too fun going in there. And we're running the 5.8 kernel. Interesting enough, I don't see any other kernel options. So they probably just included this because this is the only one that they've uh, tested it out on. Uh, always remember this is a developer preview, so you might want to wait a while if you're going to install this on primary hardware. So let's close this out real quick and take a look at some of the other things. So we've looked at this before. We looked at Ubuntu Kylin on its own. So it's basically a lot of the same. You have your uh, calendar here, your notifications here, which that's interesting. It's supposed to slide out right there, but it's sliding out in the middle, so that's funny. But it's when it is where it's supposed to be, it's beautiful. So uh, important notice, we have a bunch of updates to do, so that might fix it if I were to run these updates. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, I cleared it out. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. All right, so it's not letting me open that. So let's go into the software, add remove, see what that looks like. And it looks like it doesn't any other Manjaro based operating system. We have all of our updates here. If I go over here, go to preferences, 
Um, usually this is Manjaro on the live disc. Yes, it is. We go to the R, so we have the AUR, that's really nice. Everything you'd expect from an Arch-based operating system. So let's take a quick look at some of the programs, see if anything stands out. Real quick, if you haven't looked at this desktop environment, the menu, the default menu is really nice. You have this uh, standard layout of all your applications here. You go alphabetical, so chunk it up by the uh, alphabet that it starts with, or the letter that it starts with. And then this one's my favorite, it's kind of a category view, so all the internet related things, video, images. Uh, one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is there's a lot of Mate applications, so they have the uh, Mate image viewer, Mate calendar, which there's nothing wrong with that. Add remove software, firewall, firewall that come with gparted, uh, install Manjaro. Uh, Manjaro settings, the Manjaro architect installer, that's nice, time shift, uh, UK UI control center. I'm really looking forward to when this is done, fully supported, there's no glitches or anything like that. Because this is definitely one that I could recommend for somebody coming over from Windows. I mean it's beautiful, we open up the file manager here. It's super clean but still packed with a lot of features, so they have uh, tabbing available. You go up here and type in your file directories. You have everything you'd expect right here and a ton of different options for organization. So if I go to about, you could see this is a, a file manager specific to this desktop environment and the Kylin Soft Co. So that concludes our quick little look at Kylin. Like I said, I'm excited for this to be released. And now let's go ahead and dive into Deepin. All right, so this is Deepin running Manjaro. You see the Manjaro Hello screen right here. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, just like the other one, they're both absolutely beautiful. If I go to, so these are how I go through, so if I click over here, this is the more GNOME style look. One thing I've noticed that's a big issue, so this is basically unusable at the moment, is if I click on anything in this menu, it just won't open. And this might not work yet, but you could always go ahead and open it up, go up here in the top corner, and then you could get this menu, and this actually works, and this is almost better in my opinion. Uh, you have all your applications here. You could go to your uh, file manager through here. You have a couple different shortcuts down here. You could go ahead and um, shut down your system if you'd like to. Uh, I'm going to hit escape to get back. So switching out of that kind of GNOME style makes the system much more usable. You can go ahead and search for applications such as Firefox, and I could go down, boom. We have Firefox open, so that actually works. Additionally, you could change the uh, this down here. So right click, you go mode. Right now it's on fashion mode. If you go to efficient mode, it just drops it down, makes the icon smaller, gives it more of a traditional kind of taskbar look. And then combining that with this format at the start menu, you're getting into very, very familiar territory to something you might be used to. Uh, Manjaro setting manager, there is additional language packs. So if I click on that, Nothing opens up. A uh, lot of work to do. But if I open things from the little uh, menu down here, I can actually get into some of the areas. So you get a good idea of what this looks like. It has the same kind of category view as what we were just in, but with our own custom theming, icons, and everything like that. So display, resolution, you select your resolutions here. You could do brightness, uh, scaling through this, which is nice, and change your refresh rates. You have a lot more options, like I said, this one has the light, dark, but they do have the addition of the automatic, so I think it's depending on the time of day, it will go from light to dark theme, so that's a handy little feature. They have a lot more icons to choose from, all of them are really nice, uh, more cursors, fonts. Uh, Deepin is more of an established desktop environment, it's been around a lot longer than Kylin, so they have had more time to kind of perfect their desktop environment. But Kylin is beautiful and they're getting better with every update. If I go under system info, they will, this one will actually kind of show what's going on here. So I have the Ryzen 737 or 3700. Uh, 8 gigs of RAM was what I dedicated to this virtual machine. Manjaro, it's running the 5.8 kernel. So both of these operating systems or desktop environments come with the 5.8 kernel. Well, the ISOs with the desktop environments come with that kernel as well as all the other Manjaros, they all have the 5.8 kernel now because it's pretty stable. For those of you who aren't as experienced in Deepin, down here you have your show desktop, your multitasking view, 
So if I opened up a couple of things real quick, this is the Manjaro setting manager, so this is in here too. A difference is that this actually includes a lot, all the different kernels that are usually available with the official Manjaro releases. So we have the 5.9 experimental, don't use it, and all the other earlier ones. If I hit multitasking view, oh, oh, it's not gonna work yet. Multitasking view, unlock, oh, undock. So that's, there's a lot of things within the actual desktop environment that aren't working yet. Uh, their file manager looks really nice. If I open that up here, it has a lot of good settings, anything you'd expect, some information. You could do new windows, about, so if I hit about, this is running file manager, which it looks like it's from Arch Linux, so that's pretty cool. Uh, closing out of this, um, if you go down here, you have some of your icon trays. Everything's really nice. That's about it for now. I'm really excited for these desktop environments to be released in their official versions. I don't think it's going to be the official releases like um, the flagship releases. So with Manjaro, it's XFCE, GNOME, KDE, and Architect, I believe. Uh, this is probably going to be under the community section. So. I'm just looking forward to that and all of its glory. Other than that, the links will be in the description if you would like to check these out, load them up in VirtualBox and play with them. Uh, please subscribe for more videos like this. I have a video right there you might want to check out. Wait, am I pointing the right way? Let's see. Yeah. No, I'm not. I have a video right there you might want to check out, a playlist down there. Subscribe right there for more content like this. Um, like it. I hope you have a beautiful day and goodbye.